Hello guys, welcome to my channel Python Educare. Today I have brought another session on thick intent GUI. So here, here I will be showing you how to uh, link uh, your tick interview with the Excel data sheet and where like whatever the data you're entering you can get the data exported into an Excel sheet so normally uh, it's uh, working as in backend so here I have a if you see like here I have a tick interview application where you can have some edit boxes that is name username password email ID and some radio buttons and check buttons up here so once you enter all the details and press subscribe so the data will be entered automatically over here so today i will be showing you how to build this how to do this interconnection and how to get this done so i have many uh, videos uh, on creating this thick integrity edit boxes uh, i have the uh, application i have the i have video for how to create for radio buttons how to work with the check buttons so please go through those so those uh, videos links are being described in my descriptions video descriptions as well as the links are flashing on my screen okay so now let us see how to uh, do the today's uh, task so uh, let me delete this data excel and uh, let me show you how to build this and like if you have any uh, issue or if you have any doubts uh, with regard in with regard to this application you can always uh, reach out to me at my email id that is rafikjava2 at the gmail.com okay so first of all uh, you need to import the model called tkinter that is from tkinter import star and then from import tkinter as tk then to function to work with the excel so you need to import openpy excel and then xlrd so make sure like these are not pre-installed so you need to install both of them using your uh, uh, command prompt that is a pip install and then uh, you need to install these two libraries or modules then this from openpy excel import workbook and then at the last import pathly okay so first of all so first of all you need to build this application so main is equal to tk so i have i have here two frames this is frame one if you see login it will say frame one and other details is frame two so i'll be showing you how to build that so let's uh, start so main is a tk then i have a title main dot title is login dot form then geometry i have a geometry of 800 cross 500 then i have some if you see this thick black highlight right so this is what it is main dot config highlight background black dot highlight thickness too so you can increase the thickness and you can you can change any colors with this now now we will work with the excel so i have the excel over here so name username password mail id and this right so this is so first of all i need to create an excel so i will be uh, this application will run again and again so every time i cannot create an excel right if i create the excel then previous data will be deleted if you delete the previous data it will again start but i don't need to do that i want the data should get appended so for the very first time so for the very first time if you run so file is equal to pathlib.path backend.xlx this is my excel file name so if file exists if the file exists already then it will just exit from here else if the file is not exit if the file doesn't exist then it will create the file that is file is equal to workbook then sheet is equal to file.active then sheet a1 the column right the rows so the columns sheet a1 is a full name then b1 username password then mail id then gender then subscription so i have one two three four five six columns for getting the six values so six data then once this uh, once the uh, excel sheet with this header uh, columns got added then file dot save backend data dot xlx the file will get closed after saving this with this particular information this is for the very first time now once the file is created every time when you open or when you open the file and you press subscribe right it will uh, just append the file if a file exists pass it will just pass this condition now next this is a 
def show function that is uh, like uh, this function like uh, say password password is always shows sorry so password is always shows in asterisk right so this is what it is I, I will show you in the uh, in the bottom how it has been done but if where dot get is equal to one so if this value is one then she show the password okay pass the entry dot config show if it is zero then you show the asterisk this is what it is now this submit function is different i will be coming at later point okay now this is how to build the tick enter gui let me have a quick uh, walk through to this through this uh, part so first of all i have two frames i have already told you right so this is frame one so frame one is equal to label frame main from the main this coming text login details is the login details right login details dot pack expand yes and fill both so this is what it is then label frame one text is equal to name in the frame one i have text name place dot place i have used the coordinates dot place actual 50 so i'll make sure like always if you want to make it in inline then make sure x is always in line so x is 50 y 30 then username next is username if you see username it's also uh, 50 and then some 70 i have given a gave of uh, some 40 similarly like i have given for password some uh, 50 then 1110 so it always starts at 50 and then 110 some gap of uh, some around 40 uh, always so this will make the uh, application looking better then uh, mail id similarly now in frame 2 in frame 2 what it, i have i have the label as other details the similarly other things the same dot pack expand yes fill both now once this label is created now i need to create this entry boxes for that actually this frame 2 i should have written the about in the better one but okay fine that's not a problem now name now i need to create this entry boxes right so name is equal to entry frame 1 so name is equal to entry frame 1 frame 1 the name dot place xl250 and y30 okay this is what it is 250 y30 position now user entry frame 1 place is equal to it will be same 250 y70 so i should always make sure like these are in line and these two are in line so if you see here these are matching uh, 50 250 so it's a gap y30 similarly for user also uh, 250 y70 similarly for password also if you see right uh, 250 y1110 similarly for mail id also if you see 250 y is equal to 150 <coughs> now for password it's little bit different i just have a pass entry as entry frame one text variable is equal to password this is string right and then shows your asterisk so whenever the by default if you enter anything it will show us asterisk okay now next this is for the check button password check button so where is equal to in var and then var set is equal to by default it will be zero so check button is equal to uh, check button frame one text is equal to show this is the show text it is this is just creating a label then variable is equal to var this var by default var and on value one and off value zero so when on value is one off value is zero command is equal to show password plus 350 y10 so it, i'm making it in line with this now see the check button itself having this command option okay so whenever i'm checking and checking whenever i'm clicking here and clicking here this command is getting executed this command is getting executed means if you see above i have already told you about the function that is def show password so whenever it is on it will show you the password whenever it is off it will show asterisk this is what it is in nutshell okay now next similarly i have for a uh, gender this is in frame 2 label frame 2 text will gender with uh, some width i have given and then uh, bold time you can get gender and then uh, similarly for place uh, this then radio button i have then this is the radio buttons so so radio buttons this here also i have the same variable where one is equal to where so radio buttons i have two radio button here that is a male and female for gender frame two text mail variable where one and radio button frame two here so it will check 
if there is getting executed then it will show male if it is getting clicked it is sh will show female it is that okay next i have a next label for subscription it is the same thing okay so next if i see uh, similarly for the check button i will be having the check button frame to dot text is a standard where where to and then place is equal to 200 so i'm making it inline and y360 then similarly for premium i have where is equal to with where 3 where 3 into where check button is a frame to text premium where 3 dot place so it's the same thing here okay so whenever it is checked it is missed one when I mean, there is standard if this is the premium so you can check both also on off on off okay now once you enter everything right and then subscribe say i will type my name that is rafik say username say rf123 password say say python one two so check if you see the mail id say something say Python at the red gmail.com. Say mail and then I want a subscription standard. Now, once I got subs subscribe, once I click subscribe, what will happen is like it will create an Excel sheet and it will enter the data over there. So, let us do that. But uh, I should not run this. This is a shrink because uh, I need to run this wh while running it. While running it, only the Excel sheet will get generated, not, uh, well, not on cl clicking the subscribe. So I need to close this and I need to run it once again. So once I click this subscribe, that is the submit, dev submit. If you see here, button to frame, text will subscribe, command is going to submit. That means dev submit is a function. What it will do is like y is equal to name.get. If you see the entry, the edit box is right, name.get. Similarly, I need to get for user.get, password, uh, pass entry.get and email entry dot get if you see i have those gets name dot get user dot get i have met, uh, ex used this variable for getting it uh, shortcut pass dot and pass entry dot get email entry dot get so all the edit boxes i can uh, get the value from with this method then i will be printing to verify it now now what i'm going to do is like i will be opening that particular excel sheet that is the using file is equal to open pyxl dot load workbook backend data dot excel access then i will be making this sheet is file active now first four columns right four columns what what we had we had full name username password mail right so column one value y value y is what is name column two value z value z is user dot get column three value z one that is pass column 4 value y1 that is email entry so how it is going to do is like column 1 row is equal to sheet dot max row plus 1 so already your headline already your heading file is what headline uh, header is your the uh, name username all those stuffs right so the next line of it max row plus 1 then all the other things will be max row max row max row now once this thing is done next thing is like I need to go for gender so what we did is like these are check boxes right sorry uh, radio buttons so radio buttons means if i click on mail and then subscribe right the mail will get selected so this is one else this is zero so it will go for one if where dot get is equal to, is equal to one then mail gen is equal to mail else print is equal to female so if it is a male then it will get the value mail if it is a female else if it is not selected a one and then it will the type is female over there similarly for the subscription part also this is where to where three if where two dot one this if this is one then standard if this is uh, where three is one then it should be premium this is how the data is and then at the end it will do file dot save backend data dot xlx now most of the users they want to have a backup right so they can create a backup on uh, using a CSV file. So for this you need to import a model called pandas, import pandas. If you do that, Excel file is a pd.read.excel, it will read the Excel 
and then it will convert it to csv file so it will have a backup data in csv format also but for this execution i'm not uh, doing it but if you want it you can uh, uh, do it for your purpose now okay let me close this and i will run the application once again okay this is what the path is now it will have it will generate the file here let me run the program let me see here if you see the file got generated here so in the form also let me try something say rafik rfq123 password say something python at one zero nine something mail id say python at the red gmail dot com say mail and standard subscribe right uh, this is having something by default while i'm using so graphic javed and then so this mail and standard all and similarly if i open the excel sheet You have this rafik this 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 right now i will write another data say python python one two three python at the dollar one two three four five something python gmail uh, yahoo.com say his female and his premium subscribe right so the data will be generated over here the data will get append actually okay if you see this is the one thing now one more thing what i'm going to do is like i will close this excel sheet no i don't want to do anything i will just close this excel sheet now i'm going to close this and i will run once again i will terminate this run and i will run once again So backend data is already there, it will not generate anymore. Say like name Python one two three tick enter tick enter five tick enter other gmail dot com something say so here's also mail and his premium subscribe. So let me go with the backend data dot xlx. Here we got three entries. This is how we can uh, connect uh, your Tikinter GUI with an uh, Excel sheet, and you can uh, uh, fetch. Uh, you can export the data, or you can uh, export the data, or, or you can write the data in the Excel sheet from the Tikinter GUI. Hope you have find this video to be useful. If you have any doubts, you can always reach out to me at my email Gmail uh, address that is at rafikjavet at gmail.com. If you have liked my video, please press yes button and for more videos, please do subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.